We are gonna be reacting to Mr. Beast's I Built Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory video. Are you serious? I haven't seen it. I love Mr. Beast. I recreated Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory in real life. And one of these 10 people is gonna walk away with this Chocolate Factory. I wish I was one of those 10 people, honestly. They get to keep the Chocolate Factory? <laughs> they all look so awkward. <laughs> in we go. Oh! This is so crazy. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, that's cute. Look wow. at her. Whoa. Welcome to my wonderful creation. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it is candy land here. Look at the river. It's a chocolate door. I like the outfits. The purple overalls are so cute. Oh, you're taking a bite out of our door. Hey! That's not sanitary. Is it, I was gonna say, is it actually chocolate? That's good. Okay, These good. The contestants are all here because- Is it really only one girl? They found a golden ticket when they bought one of our Feastable Bars. Don't ask me how, but we put a chocolate river with a chocolate waterfall in the middle of this warehouse. That looks so fun. This is like my childhood dream. I would have run through that place and just started eating and like dove into the, the, the river, et cetera. I, I, that, that is so cool. For our first challenge, we're gonna play hide and seek. You have a thousand seconds, go hide. Oh. He always plays hide and seek. Three. Run, oh. run. The factory's awesome. What are you in, powder sugar? Oh, wow, I thought it was just gonna be in that first room. They went all over the place. Let's go. If I were to hide anywhere in Willy Wonka's Chocolate Look at the factory, bridge. I'd probably hide in the Chocolate River. I don't feel like checking it, so if they did, they win. <laughs> we were just calling you, Jimmy. We found this really awesome hiding spot. Hey, that wasn't fair. Oh, wow. Oh, no. Oh, no. And it's the guy dressed up cool. <laughs> it's the cowboy, no. Hey, cowboy. Yeah, to be fair in hide and seek, the trick is to not hide in things things that can be opened easily. Yeah, if it's a box, come on, come on. That's easy. I saw the one dude climbing into the marshmallow wall. That looks smart. Cause I, I would never think of like taking off a wall piece. I probably would try the river or somehow be underwater and have like a straw or something so I could breathe. I would jump in the river. But the thing is, I don't know how to swim and I can't hold my breath that long. So I'd probably end up like Augustus in the movie. Chocolate! Ah! Ah! My chocolate! Our next challenge is on the side of the chocolate factory. I call it the candy wall. This one wall I think I could do. Sounds a lot scarier than it is. Last person up the candy wall is eliminated. This really doesn't look that hard. Oh, I could do this. It does look a bit intimidating. Contestants, are you ready? Yeah! Climb, 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 climb. How does he know how to climb candy? Ah! What'd you say? Ah! <laughs> okay. Oh, I cannot. Oh, I feel so bad for her. Oh no, we gave up, no. Remember our chocolate factory is on the line. Actually the chocolate factory you're climbing yeah. to were unable to make it to the top. Oh. So the only logical thing to do is rock, paper, scissors. Rock, paper, scissors, shoot. Oh. 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 oh wow, there goes our diversity. And our one girl is gone. I'm proud of you, sister. What do you think the fact you built a whole rock wall? Uh, that was impressive. I don't know, who does he hire to make these things? And when he says, I'm gonna do this thing, he's like, oh no, I'm, no, I'm gonna do the thing. So I got respect to my boy's name. And now we have the two greatest eaters in the world. Get out the way. Excuse me. Uh, Matt Stoney and Joey Chestnut. <laughs> and they're Ooh. gonna demonstrate the next challenge. Bring out the chocolate. Show us how to speed eat this. Absolutely, yeah. Hey, all you guys should take notes. They're insane. That's insane. Oh. Go for it. The challenge has officially started. Two people <laughs> will lose. I've been trying really hard to lose weight. This right. is like counterproductive. <laughs> Those two guys are getting close. It's kind of now or never for you guys. They are about ready to finish. It's all right, you guys man. have to go fast right now. All right, his mouth's empty. It's down to get you. it down. Get go. it down. Eat, 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 eat. They're done. Oh. Oh. So close. Wow. The They're good. Amazing, but out of portion. Oh, oh. my God. I want to give it a go. Let's hope that, is that my next challenge? You're going to bring a big chocolate bar in here and see what Big Share can do? Oh, thank God it was in teams, because that was a lot of chocolate. Oh, can you say constipation? How would you fare against the rest of the guys in the competition? I think I can help, I think I can help. As, we, as we've seen in past, one shot, eat one second, boop baps. I can pack it in. That was what a half pound it looked like. That's, uh... I could do it. Yes, I could do it. I would feel horrible. And now the final six contestants are outside. And can you guys take your blindfolds off and look to the right? This is the world's largest oh, bottle of Oh, uh, Sponsored by Coca-Cola. If you land the world's largest Minto and the world's largest bottle of Coke, you win. This is oh, half a million fun. dollars. Well, I mean, if not more. Oh. Oh. In. In the bottle. <laughs> this is it. This is the one. 
Oh! <laughs> oh! It actually worked! Since he was the one that made the shot, he gets to pick who's eliminated. Oh, Ooh, okay. survivor! Oh, right Eric, I'm sorry. Damn. Oh, yeah. This is a smaller version of the Mentos you were throwing. And Ooh. if you look right here, here is a solid gold Mentos. Oh here my you go. gosh. You can sell it when you leave the factory. Hell, I'd take a solid gold Mentos. Now. Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm sorry. And if you're wondering where oh. that goes, I don't even know. Just next challenge. Rowboating away on the chocolate river. The Squid Game video cost $3.5 million. That was a good video. Yeah. I remember watching that one. That was crazy. And there was so many contestants doing it too. It's great. It's it's exorbitant. It's big, but it's not too much. Of course there's controversy over him spending the money. Why? Is there controversy over a production company that's spending a ton to make the new Top Gun movie? Who cares? He's the one spending it on content for us, and I think the content is really entertaining. He's creating a lot of jobs for people too, so I mean, I'm not mad at him for doing what he does. I get it. I'm a little worried it's not sustainable though. Cause like if it's always one upping yourself, there's literally no limit. Now we're in a room covered with marshmallows. Dive on the floor. Oh. Did that oh. hurt? Oh. <laughs> and in front of each contestant, it's a little peppermint carousel. Can you all stand on it? The challenge has officially begun. Whoever falls off first loses. Currently, oh. they're not spinning. So let's move this Oh, we're here. spinning. Oh, fine. Just a little Ooh. bit. How is it, everybody? Pretty fine. Pretty good. good so far. So far, so good. All right, we're ramping it up. Now they're spinning faster. They all kind of look like NPCs, you know, in the character selection where they spin. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh. funny. Oh. 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 Oh, now the marshmallows. Even he got out, I want to show you guys the faster speeds because I spent a lot of money on oh. this. Oh, look at no, him. No, no, stay focused. Stay focused. <laughs> Gather it in. Oh, look at him. Dog. He's like. <laughs> what was the marshmallow falling supposed to be? I was expecting something with the flamethrower or like like those marshmallows to be burning or something like that. I was trying to figure out what that guy was doing with the flamethrower. Please let us know what you planned on doing, Mr. Beast. I'm I'm like very curious. <laughs> He usually brings up how much things cost in all his crazy videos like this. So at this point, I'm almost desensitized to how much it costs. I'm like, oh yeah, it makes sense. He had a whole script planned out. He's like, God damn it, that was a hundred million dollars just for that room. <laughs> you spent a lot of money on something. You want to show it off a little. Show it off to see how fast it goes. One of those toilets is literally made of cake. And whoever picks the cake toilet loses Ooh. the chocolate factory. Okay, my pick would be three. It's hard to do it on video. I would say number four. I want to say two. I think I would have gone with one or two. Is he going to make him sit on it? You guys sit <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> oh, oh, no, I'm out! Oh, yeah. I'm out! Everyone, his toilet is the one that cake. <laughs> no, man. Why toilets? If you wanted someone to sit on it to like reveal what was cake or whatever, how about a chair? This is not a toilet. It's actually a cake that I was asked to make to prove that I could make a super realistic toilet. And in return, I was going to get hired to make this cake for a very big video it's all cake. and get paid a lot of money. And instead, I was not hired and this video was shown to another decorator on how to make a toilet cake. Shut up! And long story short, I'm never making a toilet cake again and you should always have a contract before you make something. Yikes! We don't know if that was for his stuff. Don't do anything unless you have a contract. Always get a contract. Yeah, always get a contract first. You have these three contestants and what better person to decide which one of you wins a chocolate factory than, come on in, Gordon Ramsay. Oh, Charles. come on, Ramsay! Oh, yeah. How's it going? Be evil! You're probably guessing the final <gasps> challenge is Wait. a cooking challenge. And they have 45 minutes to make it. I don't know how this is gonna, to 45 minutes? On looks and taste. This is Rocky Road. That one with the cone looked amazing. It looks like you've dropped it. I'm gonna give that a five out of oh, ten. Oh, that's right. cute. That's wow. <laughs> yeah. What an honest buddy. <laughs> oh no. Oh, okay. Five. Oh no. Five. Okay. Five. So ten total. Ten total. On top, I have whipped cream that's actually melted. Oof. It's not there anymore. So visually, it looks a mess. Three out of ten. It's good. <laughs> No, it's not. There I it know goes. It's not. <laughs> what did he just throw? What did you put in there? I'm gonna give that 
a five. All right. You have no way of winning, Aww. so. Thank you, guys. It was a lot of fun. Hey, hey. It was really nice to meet you. Likewise. Aww, Likewise. Spirit. You know, just for that, we're going to give him $10,000 for coming oh. out. Hey. Oh, see if he gets $10,000. Yeah. Right. Well, you lost. I'll see you later. Bye, guys. <laughs> Funfetti cake, Chocolate River from the Willy Wonka factory. Not bad. With the boat in the middle that goes on through the waterfall. So visually, it's, it's a strong, it's, it's a seven. You only had 10. It's already close, and he hasn't ate it yet. This is just the most creative better. one. Light, fluffy. Right there. Oh, my gosh. It's a seven out of 10. Congratulations. Yeah. No, I don't want him to win. <laughs> So he he had to he had to murk one of his friends, but he did it. He made it in the end. He won the factory. What do you think of that as the final challenge? Cute. I like it, and it's probably unexpected because they're like, I have to cook, so I have to make things, and then Gordon Ramsay. It's so perfect to have Gordon Ramsay come in and judge a. Uh, and a uh, cooking show like that? That's great. Wonder what that did to their budget. <laughs> I feel like they could have done something a little better. I, I think this was probably the best challenge. I honestly do. It just makes it more fun. Congratulations! Give Here is the seed. He just won this it's chocolate mine. factory. It's all mine. To celebrate our launch of milk chocolate and sea salt, we went out. We bought Ooh. ten Teslas, loads of cash, I and all win. these prizes you see on the screen. Only problem is the chocolate river is deteriorating. All the candy is going bad. There's probably a million flies yeah, in there. Yeah, ew. It costs a lot of money to upkeep. So I'll be right back. Right here is half a million dollars in cash. Oh. Will you sell me your chocolate factory for half a million dollars? Yes. If not, it's probably gonna cost you over a hundred grand a year to maintain. I've never seen so much money in my Seven. life. Will you buy this off of me? Yes. For half Would a anyone dollars? not course, take the money? Right this is mine. If you hand me this, you can nice. put this money in your car. Nice. I officially hand it to you. Okay. Well, yes. there you go. This is mine. Of course, I take the money. <laughs> to be fair, I would also take the money instead of the deed to a massive factory that. So you would have taken the money Hell versus kept yes. the warehouse? Hell yes. And while building this, we also have to terraform an island. I'm sorry, what? He's giving away an island? He's giving away an island? Hey. Hey, Mr. Beast. <laughs> I'm islandless, by the way. <laughs> Remember what I said about having to one-up yourself constantly? Ah. So. Would you keep the factory or take the money? Let us know what you thought in the comments below. Thanks for watching this episode on React. And be sure to like and subscribe for more. Bye! Oompa loompa doobody dee. I've got another thing on my knee. <laughs> <laughs>